Hello and welcome to my weekly Facebook live event. And today I'm so excited to introduce Scott Ruick, who is a uh, uh, the host of the uh, docu-series that's coming up about pain. And as you all know, I love dealing with pain, um, helping people feel better and finding unique ways to help them feel better. So I'm super excited about this event and about uh, talking about pain. And Scott, I'm gonna just give a little brief introduction about you. Um, welcome. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you for being here. <laughs> Uh, Scott is an early pioneer of affiliate marketing and uh, has uh, spent the last 20 years working with affiliate marketing and building companies and is an entrepreneur. And so, and lately he's been dealing uh, mostly with helping people learn ways to deal with pain and chronic inflammation. So I'm so excited to have you here, Scott. Could tell Thank us a little bit about what made you interested in pain and inflammation. Gosh, I, you know, I've always, I've oftentimes just described pain as my constant companion for as long as I can remember. Um, I built my career in internet marketing and being an entrepreneur. I've built and sold a bunch of companies, but my constant companion was always pain, um, primarily because, um, well, two reasons. So I'm hyper flexible. So uh, that caused a bunch of issues and that have hypermobility. And so just learning to deal with that um, was the first issue. And then the second issue was I've been doing jujitsu for over 20 years. And jujitsu is uh, this amazing, great martial art that is very popular, but oftentimes, um, you know, can be very, very difficult on your joints and, and your muscles and those types of things. So, um, so pain has been kind of my constant companion for as long as I can remember and I would say up until doing this docu-series, I would just simply either ignore it or try to ignore it or uh, treat it with Advil or Aleve or Tylenol. Um, or I would have drinks, a couple of drinks to kind of kill the pain uh, or, you know, take pain pills or surgeries. Um, and it really was not until kind of COVID that I just, I realized that the rut that I got myself into was just the cycle of ignoring my pain and trying to deal with it in kind of a more of a traditional Western medicine approach, which just wasn't working for me. So that was really the impetus behind going out there and meeting folks like yourself and, you know, 60 other really amazing doctors to learn this entire new world of, of ways to more effectively deal with pain that are, that are likely way better for you and um, are in a different kind of whole different modality. So uh, pain has been something that's I've just gotten used to over the years. And I'm just, you know, love that. In fact, I'm learning all these new things about how to deal with it in more healthy and more healthy way. That's awesome. <laughs> I've spent also had issues with pain my whole life. So I understand. And that's probably what's driven my work that I do now is doing acupuncture and all that stuff that I do is to really help people solve pain issues. Tell us a little bit about the docu-series and what people can expect. You know, really, I, I feel like looking back, I got really just what amounted to be a master class of some of the most intelligent, interesting, kind of forward-thinking people on the planet, you know, from naturopathic doctors to root cause medicine-based doctors to chiropractors to acupuncturists. I got a chance to try cold therapy, hyperbaric, chamber, hyperbaric therapy, uh, red light therapy, um, yoga. Um, but really, you know, the, the goal was to kind of interview the most interesting people I could on different ways that um, I could address my pain issues. So we ended up with probably a thousand hours of, of recordings. So a lot of them were live, like in our case, I think we met um, out in Arizona, but many of them were, were in person live that typically went for between 35 to 30 minutes to an hour. Um, many of them were Zoom calls as well, but um, we really organized about nine episodes uh, together. Uh, each episode features, you know, likely three or four or five, maybe really incredible doctors, physicians, naturopathic doctors, um, that uh, I just approached it from a layperson's point of view, like, what is this? How does this work? I wanted to kind of come at it from um, just the consumer. Um, and, you know, a lot of times I found they would use these really fancy words and I'd say, well, hold on, slow down. What is like, talk to me like what that actually means. Because oftentimes 
you know, they're so overdeveloped in their line of work that they don't realize that, you know, the person on the other side is just this dude that in my case, me, who doesn't know 10 times like the words that they're using. So right. it was really fascinating, um, fascinating journey, but yeah, the bulk of it is, is over nine series. They, they end up being, you know, hours to two hours long. Um, and it really is just a great way of looking at all the different ways that people are dealing with pain uh, in a less traditional way. And what was the most interesting thing you experienced? So like you said, you tried all these different modalities. Did you find out of all those modalities, one that stood out for you in terms of your experience of pain? Did it something that helped the most? You know, um, the, the, what I learned, you know, in general, like I, I'd say from a, from a consumer of this point of view, I, I, I learned and maybe it's relearning it again because it's maybe things you already know, but you forget about. But like I found that the way people dealt with pain typically ended up into four buckets. So it's either the food that you put in your mouth, right? It's obviously a huge, you know, huge factor. Yeah. Uh, movement, you know, you've got to move your body. Your body's meant to move. Mm -hmm. um, external kind of um, poisons and toxins from like mold or air pollution or, and then the final thing was kind of like your head, like what, how do you think about this stuff? And so really it was helpful for me to bucket in those four different areas. And um, I hooked up with a local naturopathic doctor here in Sonoma. Uh, we did this battery of tests when I started. So uh, kind of post COVID, I was, I fell into the camp of not moving a whole lot and eating really crappy and, and, feeling more in acute pain than I ever felt before. But after just like really changing my diet up, um, and again, not radically, but like, you know, less processed foods and, you know, uh, more leafy greens and no alcohol uh, and movement. Um, for me, I was able to drop 30 pounds. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, it, over a course of three months. And what I noticed was that a lot of the pain that I had just went away. I think it was just my body was like, hey, you're 30 pounds lighter. Your knees don't hurt. Your joints don't hurt. Mm -hmm. So it really was just, and, you know, I, then I would incorporate chiropractor work, stretch work, um, being able to meditate every day. So I think it was like the culmination of a lot of different modalities and like different ways of doing it. But for me, the results were pretty dramatic. Yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like it was really healing for you just to do, to learn all these things. Yeah. And a lot of them I just didn't know about, you know, like I don't, you know, like I think we all go on our day doing our thing. I'm an internet guy, but you just don't, you don't think about the idea that, you know, hyperbaric chamber or red light therapy or the stuff that you do with, um, you just don't think about it. So when you're reintroduced to it again and you have an open mind of trying it, I think it really makes, um, it makes a big difference, you know, just being open because I think that, you know, we expect the people watching this docu-series are in pain. I didn't learn, you know, 100 million people in America suffer from chronic pain. So it's a big number, you know. Mm -hmm. So just giving them different options, I think, is really um, inspiring. And hopefully some can resonate with my own story, you know, about my relationship with pain and how I'm overcoming it and draw inspiration from that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And what do you think was the most exciting thing that you learned over the over the course of this entire well, series i know that's a lot to ask since no there were so many really cool things i mean like the the the, the stuff that i did um you know like the red light therapy and um there was a woman who did some healing work with her hands and um hyperbaric shape so all that stuff was super interesting i guess the thing that was most interesting to me was you know, my dad, my dad was a scientist at Stanford Research Institute. And so he imbued in us this sense of like science first and data. And I think that I would, I, I tended before this series to look at all of this stuff as kind of a bit woo woo and bit like pseudoscience. And, and maybe some of it still is, I don't know. But what was really exciting to me was the fact that so much research has been done um, in the modality that I was used to, like peer reviewed science research that shows that a lot of this stuff actually worked. And so that was really exciting for me to learn because yeah. I'm always like the skeptic and like that doesn't work and no way, where's the science? And when I learned that there was just this 
body of work that's only getting larger that's coming in saying, actually, we have studies now and the stuff does work. Um, I think that was the most exciting thing for me because it gave me a level of comfort that I didn't have before mm -hmm. uh, that made me feel like, oh, this stuff actually probably works, you know? Yeah. Well, I, uh, I'm super excited about it because I think more people need to learn about healing their pain and all the elements involved. And of course, yeah. I love acupuncture as a modality for helping pain. What did you feel about uh, acupuncture? Did you get a chance to no, try it's it? So, or? No, it, you know, and, and the fact that you're in Petaluma is awesome because I, um, you know, quick story, I have not. However, I um, was doing jujitsu two weeks ago and I think completely destroyed my shoulders. And I've been in, my shoulders are now flaring up again. And I went to my massage therapist in Santa Rosa and she's like, you have to do acupuncture. So I need after this call to schedule some time with you to go and do that for my shoulders because I'm very, um, again, I'm very open to any type of thing that might alleviate the pain. But yeah, more recently, as I start to do jujitsu again, my shoulders are just on fire all the time. And so my, uh, my massage therapist said, I bet acupuncture would really do great. So we need to schedule some time. Okay. <laughs> well, you're always welcome, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like people to know about this event and what's important to you? Um, I just hope everyone logs in. It's a free nine day series. It's a lot of information. It's, a, it's again, it's, it's the uh, culmination of probably a thousand hours of film that's been like edited and cut down. So we hope that it's super informative to people. And we hope that um, people sign up and register. It's easy. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And I'm just hopeful that, you know, one person, just one person gets something out of this that might shift the way they view pain. Um, and, you know, again, not to knock Western medicine, but if we can get people doing less surgeries and addicted to pills off over here doing, I think, what ultimately is more healthy stuff, I would find that a win. Um, it's been a personal win for me. Uh, it was a very, I would say it's, it was a selfish endeavor to start. Like I want to deal with my pain first, but if through that journey, people can learn about doing it differently, I would be super stoked about that. I'd be very, very happy that if one person learned something out of this docu-series and came away with it with less pain. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I think that's the opportunity with all of this stuff. I, I sent out the email to my clients and one of them commented to me that she was shocked at how many people are suffering from pain. In I had no idea. I mean, I literally like a hundred million in chronic pain, which is like debilitating. But I think that, you know, I, I, one of the things that came up quite a bit was that we're just, we're taught to just ignore it or just like, I'm 54 now. I'm like, oh, you're just supposed to be in pain when you're 50. It's not really, not really. So I <laughs> think that um, I was just amazed that, you've been taught to just deal with the pain, get a drink, just take some Advil. Um, but, but, but you're right. Like so many people suffer almost like needlessly, like they don't have to suffer. Like generally with this root cause based medicine or the work that you do, there generally is an answer um, for most people. And um, if you can live your life pain free or pain less, you have a much better life, you know? So, um, but you're right. A lot of people suffer in pain for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember in my medical school training, when I was studying, you know, physiology and, and the muscles and, and all of that stuff, we weren't taught that exercise made a difference. We weren't taught right. anything about the musculoskeletal system. I actually learned all that when I studied acupuncture, because by touching people's bodies and finding the acupuncture points, I began to realize, oh my God, there's so many places you can touch or experience and change. Right what's going on and that was not a part of my training in medical school at all movement but, and even like even the idea that when you're injured you should stop moving which isn't i believe is not true because my own injuries over time i've learned that the right movement will help right. heal the injury rather than not moving at all you know? right, right yeah so yeah. you have to just find the right movement to heal a problem, which is why 
Totally. And I think it's all like, I mean, it's all interrelated, right? It's, it's the things that you tell yourself in your head about your pain. It's yeah. the exposure to, I don't know, external toxins like mold or, you know, pesticides or vaccines or whatever. And then it's just the food that you eat and then it's movement. So it all kind of interrelates, you know, and I think that if you can kind of hit upon each of those four different areas, whether you like start meditating or eat a little bit better and then take a walk for 30 minutes and then, you know, um, check your house for pesticides or clean up, you know, look, look through your cleaning supplies or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be like this all encompassing thing. You can kind of gradually get into it and just take a step-by-step approach. And for me, I was curious because, you know, I'd, I'd found that kind of post COVID I was weighing a ton. I was out of shape and um, in three months, I mean, I've lost 30 pounds and I haven't like radically altered things, but I'm going for a walk and I'm meditating and I'm like, God, I feel great. And just, I've got probably more to lose, but like just that alone um, has led to a massive reduction in pain. I used to wake up like my knees were sore, my joints were sore, it hurt to walk. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I can walk again. This is amazing. So uh, yeah. it's really like encouraging stuff. Cool. Yeah. Final word. Um, as you can see, the I put the link here to sign up for the event. It's free. Uh, it is uh, going to have nine episodes and you can watch them for free for nine days. And then after that, if you'd like to purchase it, you can. Um, so you can have permanent access and there's lots of useful information. Yep. Lots of 60 doctors, uh, just amazing people from all over the world. So I feel like I just got the best of the best. Um, and thank you again for, for agreeing to do it. I really appreciate your support in this. It was fun. It was, it was nice to meet you. So you as well. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me.